Protesters had been occupying Siemens Hall and Nelson Hall East for much of the last week, asking the university to divest from anything supporting Israel. Students living on campus were told to shelter in place before law enforcement moved in. Then at about 2.30 this morning, riot police made up of different agencies started making arrests while they cleared protesters from the buildings. Our own reporter Adelmi Ruiz was there covering the story while it happened and she was taken away with the protesters. To be clear, Delmi was detained, not arrested, by California Department of Corrections officers. We spoke with her this afternoon about her experience. I was explaining it to them, like I'm new, I was showing them my press badge, I was showing them my jacket. So I was like, I'm here for the news, I'm here to do my job. And then they basically told me that I shouldn't have been on campus at that time. And that because of that, they were taking us away. And so then I got zip tied. You were wearing a, a, a jacket that identified you as a member of the news media. Um, mm -hmm. they, they just didn't think you were a reporter or they didn't care you were a reporter. They didn't care that I was a reporter. Huh. They just said as long as you're on campus, we're able to detain you. Now, there is a hard closure on campus in effect through May 10th, though it was not local police, Humboldt County deputies or campus police arresting or detaining people. University Police Department Chief Peters Cress responded by saying the department is, quote, deeply grateful to the local and statewide agencies that lent support to our campus during this event. The support was critical in restoring an environment on campus where learning and work occur safely. UPD remains committed to a learning environment where everyone can be heard without breaking the law, end quote.